Hi guys, it's Imran. Um, so today I've got a special guest, uh, Fabio from GVOL, uh, aka Gravity Sucks, you may know him as on Twitter. Um, he's very sort of, uh, he's all over the crypto space, basically looking at the flows. Uh, he's been a crypto options trader for, for a long time. Uh, and he's come on today to showcase a new tool that GVOL are going to release on their app. And it's a tool that allows us to get some much better insight and granularity about what the flows are that are happening within the crypto vol markets. So Fabio, welcome. How's it going? Yeah, fine. Thanks, good. Imran. Good, good. So why don't we just jump straight in? You can share your screen um, and then we will uh, see what you got. Okay, Imran. This is the a new tool that we are developing right now in, in GVOL. And uh, basically it starts from a uh, GVOL direction is a proprietary uh, algorithm that try to assess the real initiator of the trades. You know, maybe that when you read the, the API uh, flow of the sign of the trades is not so re reliable because it based on, the, on some strange uh, rules uh, according to the exchange. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, just so the audience are aware, right? So I, I use the block sniffer a lot, right? Which basically yeah. looks at paradigm blocks. And I showcase that in my crypto insight videos that, that everyone watches, you know, on, on a weekly basis. And yeah, I'm kind of a lot of the time conjecturing and guessing as to which way the direction is of the flows. But exactly. the great thing about this new tool of yours is that we actually will have a much better idea of which way the flows are, which, which I'm really looking forward to, yeah? Exactly, exactly. So far, we have statistics that say that almost 30% of the trades are addressing correctly by our algorithm. So we start with the real uh, trade initiator information we have in our database, and we build, build up uh, some sort of visualization for volumes and for premium paid. Premium paid. Mm -hmm. As you can see here, there is a time scales in the in the selected period and the strike traded you mm -hmm. have uh, uh, as well the information if the trades uh, the leg of the trades have been bought in blue or have been sold in red and you mm -hmm. can have uh, all sort of visualization about the type of trade so you have uh, these non trades are on screen trades then you have uh, the one leg trades, two leg trades, three leg trades, three leg trades, and so on. So for example, these recent days, we have a lot of volumes on the fly. And you can see clearly here mm -hmm. that you have a three leg trades when you have the mm -hmm. 2015, uh, no, 2,500 both, 3,000 3, sold and 3,050. 500 sold so let me just check i understand this right so on the x-axis is the passage of time so right now you've got like the last 10 days so as we go from left to right that is trades that are happening throughout the week basically or throughout that 10 day period right so we can see in the last kind of day or so that's where we've got these big blobs or these big crosses right so if we look at the crosses we go down to the key we see a cross is a buy three or a sell three legged trade. And we can see there are three crosses. And so we can see that someone has basically bought a load of the 2,500s, sold a load of the 3,000s, and bought a load of the 3,500s, which is just a cool butterfly, basically, right? And the reason why that stands out is because it's a big icon. It's not one of those tiny little specks like we've got earlier in the week which means the volume is that much bigger of that trade. Right? I think that trade went up in something like 20,000 by 40,000 by 20,000 lots. Is exactly. that right? Exactly, okay. Imer. Yeah. Perfect. The, the dimension of the, the icon says the dimension of the trades related to the period analyzed of the, all the trades. Yeah. So, yeah. So over that time period of 10 days, because those are the biggest blocks in that 10 days, that's why we're seeing them as the biggest crosses on the on the chart, basically. Exactly. Yeah? Okay, fine, fine, fine. Excellent, excellent. Um, and then and then down underneath there, you've got the the premium. The same information with the with the premium. 
Uh, so the premium traded in this case, uh, you have the all the uh, mm. you can uh, try to to have uh, some different conclusion because uh, maybe you have uh, a lot of uh, of volumes on the chart before, but on on premium uh, you have uh, you haven't those type of, of dimension. Mm. In this case, it's quite similar, so it's so it's some sort of redundant information. But the, in mm. other type of uh, analysis is very useful to give uh, another perspective of the trades. Okay, and on the tool that you're going to release on Givo, like in the next whatever month, let's say, yeah, you're yeah. going to select, you're going to be able to select which expiry you want to look at. So you'll have this, what do you call this, like a constellation chart or something, right? Yeah, it looks like gra stars. gravity charts is what. <laughs> okay, nice. So we'll be able to select whichever expiry we want and obviously look at BTC, ETH, Will you have Solana for this as well? Yeah. Solana. You will. Okay. So you'll have all of the underlines that matter and we'll be able to pick the expiry. And then you'll also have other filters you said like... Um, yeah, you, we, we will have the possibility to filter out uh, the dimension of the trades uh, and the expiration of the trade. So you so can... Dimension uh, meaning what? Like anything above a certain size or something like exactly, that? Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Okay. So you'll be able to even home in like, I don't care about trades under 500 lots, but anything above 500 lots, show me. And then the really big clips will really stand out basically. Right. So I'll be able to see those. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. I'm looking forward to using the tool. Thanks a lot for that quick rundown. Um, hopefully, you know, the, the, the crypto insight uh, audience will appreciate that and will want to use that tool as well. And I'll be sure to um, use it in my video, upcoming videos, basically. So cheers. Um, thanks Thank for coming you. on, Fabio. Nice one. Bye.